Hi children, now open your book to page number 26. Now let us read the lesson. What is the lesson? The world of animals. The world of animals. Listen. As we learn in class 1, many kinds of animals live on earth. Some are big and some are small. Unlike plants, animals can move about from one place to another. Let us find out more about them. Yes, animals are living things can move one place to another place. Next, types of animals. Types of animals. Some animals are tamed. They live near us and are useful to us. They are called domestic animals. Some animals are tamed. Tamed means that animal can live with people. Live with people uh, like uh, cat, dog and cow. They are called domestic animals. Next, some animals live in the forest. They cannot be tamed. They are called wild animals. Some animals live in forest. They can't live along with people. That animal called wild animal. For example, lion, tiger and deer. Next, animal homes. Different animals have different kinds of home. Different animals have different kinds of home. Let us see about them. First, what is this? Lion. See, a lion lives in a den. A lion lives in a den. A lion lives in a den. Second one, dog. Dog lives in a kennel. Dog lives in a kennel. Third one, hen. Hen lives in a coop. Hen lives in a coop. Here, bird. Bird lives in a nest. Bird lives in a nest. This one, horse. A horse lives in a stable. Horse lives in a stable. And a rabbit. This one, what is this? This one is rabbit. A rabbit lives in a burrow. And a bee lives in a hive. A bee lives in a hive. Next, a cow lives in a shed. A cow lives in a shed. An ant lives in a an hill. What is this? An hill. Ant lives in a an hill. Next, what animals eat? All animals need food to live. Some animals eat grass, leaves, flowers and fruits. They are called plant eating animals. Yes, some animals eat only grass, leaves, flower and fruit. They are called plant eating animals. For example, goat, cow and elephant. Next, some animals kill and eat other animals or insect. They are called flesh eating animal. Yes, some animals kill and eat other animals or, or insect. They are called flesh eating animal. For example, lion and tiger. Some birds and animals like vultures and hyenas eat the flesh of dead animal. They will eat flesh of dead animal. Next, animal baby. Like us, animals also have baby. Let us learn about them. All, all animals have babies. Most babies look like their parent. All animals have babies. Most babies look like their parent. Look at, look at the picture here. A lion with a cub. A lion with a cub. See, look at the face here. The animal, the baby animal look like their parent. A cow with a calf. A cow with a calf. A horse with a foal. A horse with a Full. Next, a goat with kids. Goat with kids. Dog with pups. Dog with pups. Cat with kittens. Cat with kittens. Next, hen. Hen with chicks. Hen with chicks. Next, a duck with ducklings. A duck with ducklings. Next. Next, how animals help us. How animals help us. Listen, domestic animals helps us in many ways. Cows, goats and buffaloes gives us milk. Sheep give us wool. Horse and bullocks and buffaloes pull carts. Donkeys, camels and horses carry loads on their back. Hens and ducks give us eggs. Dogs guard our homes. We get honey from bees. Yes, we know that. Uh, domestic animal helps in many ways like goats go cow and goats gives us milk hens and ducks gives us egg God, dog god our homes we get honey from honeybees and then we know that horse and donkeys uh, they carry the loads on their backs next taking care of animals yes we know that domestic animals are 
domestic animals helps in many ways so we should take care of them we should take care of them listen we should take care of animals and treat them kindly many people are cruel to them and hurt them for fun we should stop this if we see it happening around us if we have domestic or pet animals we should give them a clean space to live in and good food to eat if they fall ill we should take them to a vet if we have domestic or pet animals we should give them a clean space to live in a good food to eat if they fall ill we should take them to a vet already right, told about this we should take care of animals and treat them kindly and we should not hurt them for fun and if we have pet at our home we should uh, we should give them to clean space and we should give them uh, give a good food for uh, them if they fall ill we should take them to a vet doctor next let us write a book back exercise what is first fill in the blanks fill in the blanks unlike plants animals can dash from one place to another unlike plants animals can dash from one place to another yes animals can move from one place to another animals can move one place to another so write it here move m o v e move and animals that are useful to us are called dash animal animals that are useful to us are called dash animal yes domestic animal so right here domestic d o m e s t i c domestic next animals that live in forest are called dash animal animals that live in forest are called dash animal yes wild animal so right here wild w i l d wild and dash give us wool dash give us wool Uh, sheep right here sheep sheep gives wool sheep gives us wool if an animal fall ill we should take it to the dash if animal falls ill we should take it to the dash yes we should take them to a vet vet means uh, a doctor for animals vet means a doctor for animal next turn the page true or false right t for true f for false all animals are wild no we have domestic animal and wild animal so this is false right here f next domestic animals are useful to us yes domestic animals are useful to us so this is true right here t next a lion lives in a stable a lion lives in a stable no a lion lives in a den so this is false right here f next only a few animals have babies only a few animals have baby no all animals have baby this is false right here f next we should be cruel to animal we should we should be cruel to animals we should not cruel them so this is false right here f and next match the columns match the columns domestic animal a horse leaf a rabbit leaf we get x from we get any from domestic animal live near to us domestic animal live near to us so write it here one and a horse lives in a stable a horse lives in a stable next a rabbit lives in a burrow a rabbit lives in a burrow a rabbit lives in a burrow and fourth one we get egg from we get egg from hens and ducks we get egg from hens and ducks we get any from bees once again listen here domestic animal live near us domestic animals live near us a horse lives a horse lives in a stable a horse lives in a stable a rabbit lives in a burrow a rabbit lives in a burrow we get eggs from hens and ducks we get egg from hens and ducks we get any from bees we get any from bees next answer the following first what are wild animals and domestic animals what are wild animal and domestic animal wild animals they live in the forest wild animal they live in the forest 
domestic animals they live near to us they can be tangled they can be tangled and second one is name the homes of the following animals name the homes of the following animals a lion a cow a dog and a horse listen a lion lives in a den a lion lives in a den a cow lives in a shed a cow lives in a shed a dog lives in a kennel a dog lives in a kennel a horse lives in a stable a horse lives in a stable and third one right two things that we get from domestic animal right two things that we get from domestic animal cows and goats give us milk cows and goats give us milk and hens and ducks gives us egg hens and ducks give us egg